It's a dish you don't often see outside the month of March, but corned beef is a great everyday recipe. And joining me in the studio is Chef Genoa French from the Chekhov funded Beef Culinary Innovation Center at the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Thanks again for coming and sharing this recipe. I have to tell you, auctioner is not exactly an Irish name, but I am interested when you when you put corned beef and cabbage together. So tell us what you have. Well, today uh, the recipe is slow cooked corned beef with a red currant mustard sauce. Hmm. So this recipe is um, ideal for those that want to start it in the morning. Yep go away to work and then come back. I know St. Patrick's Day this year is, is on a weekend, so that's not as necessary a problem. Sure. But um, if you want to do this on the stove, you can. It takes a little bit less time. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here with crock pot yep. um, and go ahead and load all our ingredients into this and set the timer and walk away. Um, we're going to start with two medium-sized onions. You don't need to cut them real small, just quarter of them. They're giving us flavor, so that's kind of their purpose. Okay. And then three stalks of celery. Very good. So we're going to dump this in here. In the bottom. That's in the bottom. That kind of gives you the base and nothing burns down there as well. Okay. Um, the next thing we're going to take about two, two and a half pound brisket depending on how much you need for your family. Mm -hmm. One trick is make sure that it fits in your crock pot. <laughs> the bigger you get, the bigger crock pot you're going to need. Correct. So um, this will come corned already. It's, it's brisket that's corned. It'll come in a package. Yep. Usually has um, a pickling seasoning sure. with it. The, the package yeah, with it. if it doesn't have one, you'll need to just get some in the grocery aisle. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this inside. Yep. Just right on top. Yep, just right on top. I'm going to stick it in there. Okay. Um, then your dump seasoning. your seasoning yeah. on top. Very good. And then the other trick to this is one can of beer. Oh, so okay. go ahead and, and pick your favorite, whatever you have in the refrigerator. Sure. Um, just a 12 ounce can or bottle. Very Goes good. Goes right on top. Yep. And you do need a little bit of liquid. This All will right. help with the cooking process. This um, is, is a non tender muscle yep. right at the beginning, so it needs that slow, moist heat cooking sure. to kind of break down. Do you put the fat side up or down, or does it matter? Um, it doesn't matter. Right I always put it down. If you're yeah. going to be cooking it in a pan yeah. with more of a an intense heat source, make sure you put it down because it'll kind of protect it a little bit. Gotcha. Um, if you're grilling, you would always put fat up so it runs down. Sure. But in a crock pot, it doesn't matter. Lid on. Throw it in the crock um, pot. On high for six to seven hours, on low for nine to ten. So depending on how quickly you need it, sure. much process. Um, this goes in the morning, you walk away. Walk away from When you it. get home at night and you're ready to eat, you'll need another 25 minutes before you're ready to eat. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do vegetables yep. and, and the sauce. So we're going to start here. These actually get done in the microwave. Mm. It's the easiest way and you can combine them all together. Yep. You're going to take about a pound and a half of cabbage. Yep. Um, more if you like it, the less if you don't. And green cabbage, don't use the red. Right. Um, red new potatoes. Yep. And then just some carrots. Okay. Real easy. Easy enough. Um, one trick I'm going to show you with the cabbage is this is a real kind of a bitter strong sure. piece in there, yep. you're not going to want to eat that. But if you cut it out, you take the core out before you cook them, you're not going to be able to get them out of the pot, oh, the bottom, pot as easy. Okay. So what I recommend is that you cut them and leave this in. Huh. Um, and it take, helps It helps hold them hold together. Hold the leaves together. And then once they're all cooked, hmm. you can pull them out and then just slice this out real that quick. That is an interesting So trick. make sure that you um, cut your cabbage down mm -hmm. enough so that it cooks consistently. Um, in this pot, as you see, obviously your potatoes right. and your carrots are much smaller. Um, so even size pieces to some degree to make sure everything cooks evenly. Gotcha. Um, you'd hear you just take a nice good yep. slice off. And piece of that yeah. is still left in there. That's yeah, and good. see yeah. this this piece right here at the bottom sure. kind of holds all your leaves together. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Now, once you microwave them, you yep. add about a half cup of water to this, mm -hmm. put saran wrap over the top, stick, stick it in the microwave. microwave. Goes for 12 to 15 minutes, depending on the power of your microwave, um, and how soft you like your vegetables. Sure. Obviously, the longer, the softer they'll get. If you Very don't good. like them real mushy, don't let them go as long. Yeah. Um, once they're all done, you're going to take your cabbage out and go ahead and slice off oh, this core. core. So, so then you're done. That. You just slice this little guy off and don't yep. eat him. He'll be kind of a bitter, hard sure. texture. Um, once your vegetables are all done, yep. you're going to go ahead and add a little bit of butter oh. to them. So just kind of pour that in, uh -huh. toss them all around, little and pepper. a little bit of black pepper. Perfect. Some seasoning. That's, so, that's easy enough. That's and easy so what do we have here? Jelly? So this is this is our, our red currant jelly. Really? Um, you can find red currant um, jelly. It kind of looks like strawberry or anything else, but mm. it'll have a different flavor Interesting. Um, in the jelly aisle. And you take a whole jar of it. Mm -hmm. And again, this is something that's done in the microwave, and this is done right at the end. Okay. Um, you're getting ready to sit down. It's yep. a quick process. You microwave it, and this has kind of been sitting just a minute, but microwave it so that it gets soft okay. and loose. Um, mm -hmm. Not quite pancake syrup consistency, yeah, but, but kind of like that, yeah. Because okay. what happens is you'll take your jelly mm -hmm. that's warm and you'll mix in three tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Really? So go ahead and, and that gives that little bit of corned beef and cabbage wow. mustard flavor. 
So mix that in. If yeah. you want to use an old style with the the seeds in your mustard, mm. you're more than you welcome to. You can do to. that as well. Yeah, but go ahead and you can mix them together. Mm. You can use a whisk if you have a little bit bigger bowl, whatever sure. is easiest for Easy you. For you? Wow. But the warmer your jelly is, the, the smoother easier. this consistency will get. That makes and sense. it kind of gives it a, a little bit of reddish brown Interesting. color. Interesting. Um, like I said, just keep mixing it until, yeah. until you have your consistency. Mm. Um, if you let it set a little bit and you need to stick it back in the microwave, go ahead that. and give it like 30 seconds whisk it. Um, make sure as you take these dishes out of the microwave, they will be very hot. Yeah. So just, just be careful, be careful about, about that. that. We don't yeah. think about necessarily <laughs> exactly. in the microwave. Um, and then go ahead and slice wow. up your, your corned beef. Um, That's a great your, looking dish. Yeah, put your carrots and your, your vegetables. We pulled a little bit of the celery and onions out. Yeah. Um, they do break down quite a bit. Again, okay. they're, they're primarily for flavor, yeah. but if you want to add them to your dish, Go right ahead, and then whatever you don't eat at dinner can be hashed for the next morning. That's right? fantastic. You've got it all, that, that and Lucky Charms. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming again. This is a great, exciting recipe. For this and other great beef recipes, visit our website at cattleman2cattleman.org.